Chef Shea Bear here. Today I'm going to show you how to marinate or how I marinate my T-bone steaks and um, how I make my potatoes and my corn on the cob on the fire. So stick with me and I'll show you how I do that. So this is what we're going to do. we got this stuff. I know, I know. It's not homemade. Well, technically no, but you know, it's fine. Whoops, drop a piece on the floor. I'm guessing my buddy Bruno will find that. Okay. I'm just going to roll this right up in here like this. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on it. Alright, now I'm going to get some seasoning. I just got this Lowry season salt here. And then we can salt and pepper it later. Um, I usually put it in like right now, but. Uh, I like her to add what she wants and then I'll add what I want. Um, we both like the same amount of pepper, but she doesn't like as much salt as I do. So, and this is a little bit of paprika here. Now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make a bag. This is some thin aluminum foil here, guys. So, I'm gonna have to double this up. big time and this is exactly the same way I'm going to do the corn only I'm not going to add seasoning I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to I'm not going to add oil either I'm just going to add butter in it so I'm going to do the seasoning the same way let me move this out of the way now Got some more foil over there, it may be stronger. Yeah, because this is not working. Let me see if I got. Yes, I can even. Pick... What the hell? I can't even pick this up. Let me see what other kind of foil I've got over here. This stuff is terrible, man. I don't know what the thickness is, but it's not very good. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. This is better. Okay. Yeah, that... That foil there would probably burn right through. Wow. Go this way again. Because I turn it, you know, during cooking. And I don't want it, you know, all running out of there. Okay. 
it in. Hopefully, this will do it. I don't know if it will or not. Let me move this out of the way. But I'm going to go ahead and use this stuff. Man, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to try to roll it up in this for a little extra extra support. I like the big giant big giant rolls. So There's our potatoes. Now, let's do some corn. I'm only going to do four pieces. I think it will be enough, but I'm going to have to really double wrap the corn. So, let me go get the corn. Okay, so we've got our corn here. I'm going to use some of this spray because I am running low on butter. This is uh, just cornola cooking spray. It's, uh, it's a butter flavor, so it should be all right for this. I'm still going to put some butter in it, but I don't want to put a lot because we're going to need some once this is done cooking. So I'm just going to just use a little bit. Usually I use a whole bunch. But so we're just going to I'm kind of sideways here. So yeah, and this see this is not the. Uh, this foil is not very wide either, so wow. So I'll go like this. That way I can roll the ends of it up, and then I'll do the same thing on this side. About the same length, approximately. So now we'll try to roll it like this. This will work good. As long as it don't burn through, right? I'll just have to keep an eye on this stuff. So there's our corn. There's our potatoes. There's our corn. There's our potatoes. Let me show you what I've done with the steak. Alright, so this is what I've done with the steak. It's been marinating uh, for about four hours. I've had it at room temperature for about an hour and a half. I've used this stuff. Very good seasoning for steaks and chicken and whatnot. I used uh, a little bit of paprika and of course this, a little bit of salt and pepper. I put some uh, creole, just, just a smidge of creole in it from Zatarans and I also put some slap your mama in there. Not a lot, okay, but I did put a little. So those have been marinating. We're going to get ready and take them out here shortly. Uh, I'm going to let them marinate a little bit longer. And then uh, I'll get the fire ready and I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, this is what I got going on here. Got these down in the coals. Just laid them right on top of the coals. There's the uh, corn. There's the potatoes. And I'm waiting on this wood here. Because right down in there where, it's, where the bigger hunks bigger hunks of coals are they're going to go up on here for the uh, for the steaks so these are going to take a little longer so I'm going to let these cook for for a little bit before I put the steaks on so 
this will take these a little while probably 30 minutes 45 minutes somewhere right in there depending on how hot they get in there so um, but they should be okay they'll start sizzling here shortly once they start sizzling we'll check them out together okay so I think the corn's done I think the potatoes might be done they're under there I covered them up because they wasn't really cooking that great so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these coals here and this is what we got set up here for the grill so I'll put the coals there and I'll go in and get the steaks and I'll put the steaks on alright here we go I flipped them one time they got about five more minutes left with the heat of this. About five more minutes. I'll check the internal temperature and then I think it's going to be all right. So, there's our steaks. Uh, there's three of them. Like I said, I froze two. But, uh, so I think, I think they're going to be all right. So I'm going to give them about, yeah, they're pretty warm. I'm going to give them about five more minutes, and then I'll show you what we got. I took the uh, I took the corn off and the potatoes off, so that's what we're looking at so far. Okay, guys, so here we go. So this is what we ended up with, and turned out pretty good. There's our T-bones, there's our uh, potatoes. And there is our corn, so monkey's home now. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of Chef Shaber. This is how I do some of the things on the fire. It's not the only way. I've got a hundred different ways, I'm sure, as you all do as well. So, if you have any ideas or any tips or tricks, um, let me know. And we'll try them, huh? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Alright guys, thanks for watching Chef Shea Bear, and remember, Shea Bear 1000, Myth Man Legend, I'm gone for now, bye bye guys. Monkey says she's out for now. <laughs> bye. Bye. Alright guys, so this is what we ended up with, there's our T-bone steaks. There's... <laughs> Excuse me, the potatoes okay. and our corn. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, monkey's home. <laughs>